I was happily surprised to see that this myth is actually true. A big thanks to ESS83 out on Twitter for showing me that this actually works. I tried it out in arcade and as you can see, when you do jump up with Yoda's pounce and someone shoots at you, you can deflect the bolts back at the enemies and actually kill them if you aim correctly. And the interesting part of this is that Yoda can't deflect normal shots with his block ability because that one only absorbs the shots, so the only way you can deflect with Yoda is by using the pounce ability. So the myth here was that Palpatine's chain lightning can only hit 3 people if you don't have any star cards for it. And it's very hard to test this without private matches, but I did a couple of tests in arcade and the most jumps I saw was 6, which is actually quite high, especially considering that this is without the star card. So that means that if you have the epic version of the star card that makes it bounce even further, you can hit at least 10 people. I would like to return to this myth and test it properly when and if they do release private matches because you might even be able to hit more than 6 players. This myth kind of came from the last game where solid projectiles went through shields, but as you can see here, the vanguard does not go through shields. It still deals a lot of damage, so you can often destroy a heavy shield in pretty much one hit with the vanguard, but it does not go through the actual shield, which is the key point of this myth. Myth busted. This myth is also similar to the last one, and it also comes from the last game. Because in the last game, Leia's trooper bane could go through her own shield. In this game, this is not the case. Neither the normal blaster fire, the explosive shot, or the upgraded E11 can go through her own shield. So keep that in mind when you use her in the game. This is a myth that I already knew was true when I tested it because I actually noticed this during a stream but I wanted to show it off in this video anyways because I've seen a lot of people asking about it if it's true or not. And yes, you can indeed have unlimited jump packs with the jump trooper if you jump up in the air and then use the jump pack because as you can see it does not go off cooldown when you do that but the actual animation for the jump doesn't show up either, although you still fly very far. It can be a little bit tricky to master and I've heard reports that it might not work on console but only on PC, but until they patch this it might be a good thing to use if you want to jump multiple times in a row. I'm happy to say that this myth is confirmed, I did not know about this before I tested it and it's definitely gonna change the way I play Chewie. Because so far I've been trying to double press the slam button by doing a small rush and then slamming down, but jumping up in the air and then doing the slam is gonna be a lot more helpful if you're already at the position you want to do the slam. I've not personally been able to confirm this myth, however, there are a lot of clips showing people doing tow cable takedowns on Hoth. This one is from Othion, so big thank you for the clip. And it seems like the way this works is that when the AT-ATs are low enough health and you're using a snowspeeder, it will say tow cable. And if, if you fly close to it, it will automatically shoot the tow cable and all you need to do is fly around the rings and the AT-AT will go down. You don't get any pop-up when you've successfully taken it down and you don't get any points for it either, so it is a little bit unclear, but if you fly around you will see the downed at at and you will also hear it crashing down. So those are all the myths for the first episode of the battle from two Mythbusters. I'm so glad to have this series back because it was a lot of fun in the last game. The big issue right now is that since there's no private matches and there's also no way to do split screen or online arcades on PC, it makes testing these kind of stuff very hard. But I wanted to start it off anyways with things that I can fairly easily test myself and sometimes I might have to use community clips to actually show if a myth is true or not, if it's something that's very hard to replicate yourself. But since there's so many heroes, so many star cards, so many vehicles, I think we're gonna have a really fun run with the series and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be thousands of myths we can confirm or bust in this game. So please leave all the myths you currently have in the comments below. I will make a big list of all of them and those I can test right now I will do for the upcoming episodes and I might leave a lot of them for when you can actually do private matches or something where I can test it in a more closed environment. Thank you very much for watching and as always, may the force be with you.